have you been? Me? I've been waiting for you, man. Any updates? Got them on national TV. Listen up. Service. Whatever is happening in Rachel is currently beyond our understanding. Whoops. Hold it. Yeah, Foster was too damn jumpy. You were right. What happened? I usually am. We have no reason to think that there will be any recurrence of the incident. Our thoughts and prayers go out to that. All right, move. I'm coming over. Give me a couple of minutes. I gotta wrap up something real quick. weird ball of energy just bring it back to life? You're right. Are you hurt? <laughs> so you can be friendly if you feel like it. I don't need to be an asshole. What happened to you? Ugh, save your resuscitation techniques for those two nice guys down there. Don't be a dick. What happened? Where's Foster? <laughs> He's chasing an old friend. What? <sighs> we found the contact with Section 8 got there before us. They tried to negotiate. They didn't want any trouble. But you were in a hurry, right? Not me this time. It was the commander. He was in no mood for small talk. He blew the briefcase out of Anderson's grip along with most of his arm. He shot the contact? <laughs> yeah. Kind of took me by surprise. Where's the briefcase? He took it. We killed two of them, but then... That guy. The one who took me out, even Foster couldn't hit him. I don't know what happened to him. Who are you talking about? He was Section 8. If 
Foster called him Gora? He was giving orders like he was straight from the goddamn movies, but he wasn't fucking around. He and Foster seemed to know each other. Maybe that's why they were playing nice at first, or maybe the whole thing was just a fucking trap. Calm down. You can't stand. You'll have to wait here. We have the briefcase. We'll be out of here soon. Uh, if we find Foster before Gora does. Whatever it is, it's a big deal. Foss talks about it like it's the holy fucking grail. Jesus Christ, Roddick. Haven't you seen what's out there? Yeah, I have. I can't explain it. They seem to be animated by some kind of electromagnetic anomaly. Have you been playing scientist with those goddamn monsters? I found a laboratory. They were researching some kind of metal. It must have something to do with all this. Listen. Foster knows a lot more than he's letting on. But you should stay out of this. You're not prepared for this. You need to get out of here right what? now! No way! Get back out there! You need to wait for Foster and me to wrap things up. We don't need you here! Are you kidding? You can barely move. Look at you. Haven't you noticed? Bullets are not enough. You'll get fried as soon as you step out that door. They broke my radio. If we split up, we won't even be able to communicate. Exactly. We need to stay here. I'm going to find Foster. Absolutely not! Are you serious? I... I am giving you an order, Reyes. Listen. Do you think I'm scared of any of it? This place? Or a fucking court-martial? You said so yourself. All I have to go back to is an empty apartment. I can't lose you two. Reyes. Get out of here! Reyes! Open this goddamn door! What? It's a losing charge. What's wrong with it? What the 
Master! Reyes! You're alive! Mender, are you all right? Uh, things got pretty bad. I thought I'd seen everything, but I still managed to surprise me. <clears throat> what the hell is that thing? This? It's a long story. Vulcan's coming for the extraction. I recovered... this. You managed to get hold of it? Don't act so surprised. On the contrary, that's why you're here. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Well done. The storm is getting worse. Can you walk? Sir! You were in Iraq, weren't you, Reyes? Yes, sir. So, you know that sometimes it's necessary to burn an oil well in order to avoid it falling into enemy hands. I've known Gora since 83. He was a hot-headed kid. He had already made a name for himself through his dedication, his initiative. But people like us, Reyes, we understand that whoever looks to war as a solution ends up being consumed by it. Was he the one that wounded you? Yeah. I tried to stop, but <laughs> that kid has what it takes. He's always had it. Listen, Gora has no intention of reporting to the president. He only believes in himself now. If the research ends up in his hands, God only knows who will get hold of it. With all due respect, sir, to hell with Gora. Let's get that out of here as soon as possible. This is far from over. I have other orders. Do you know where this comes from? Down there is one of the most advanced experimentation centers on the planet. They call it the castle. It stretches miles underground. Operation Sandcastle was launched to stop Section 8 finding it. But I failed. Why didn't you tell us anything? Do you have any idea how important this is? We're talking about the most dangerous technology on the face of the Earth! I had my suspicions. Reyes, think. Look around you. That data can't be allowed to leave here. We have to reach the depths of the laboratory before Gora does and destroy it forever. Those are my orders. But maybe we can... That server must be destroyed, Reyes, or the whole world will burn. You have to understand, the Department of Defense can't trust anyone with this, not even Hades. Earlier, I found a dead Hades agent. He was wearing this. Then you know, there must be Hades operatives outside my command. It was someone I'd never seen before. There must be infiltrators. I don't know who's commanding. Where's Radic? Exactly where you left him. He's wounded. He couldn't carry on. Where I left him? <laughs> he was the one who left me. What? In the middle of the fight with Section 8. Ugh. Apparently, Radic also has a price. That's not possible. I know Radic. He can't have betrayed us. Ugh. So where the hell did he go? That's always been your weak spot, Reyes. Presuming you know better. I locked him in, in a warehouse. <clears throat> I checked his position not long ago. Uh, great. But I doubt he's still there. We'll have to watch out for him, too. It's just the two of us now. <sighs> There's no time to waste. You'll have to complete the mission in my place. You can reach the underground facility through this ventilation shaft. I'll make sure the briefcase gets out in one piece. Then we'll go back to retrieve Radic. The Major owes us an explanation. That scientist. He was babbling about 
matter transfer experiments. Basically a teleporter. Do you know anything about that? What are those creatures, sir? That's just the tip of the iceberg, kid. Down there... There's so much more. And it needs to stay there. Commander, enough with the ambiguity. I'm ready to do what it takes, but I need to know what I'm heading into. Listen, I don't have the full picture. That technology originated... <laughs> will take a few more minutes. You'd better keep that mask on until it's finished. You promised me an explanation. And you'll get one. You've earned it. Then let's start with those abominations you created. We didn't create a damn thing. We were the global elite of scientific research. Too bad about the Nobel Prize. Maybe next time? Ha! Do you understand what you've done? Do you think I don't know? This is why we're in the sanctuary now. We have to serve our sentence. While you serve your sentence, the risk of these things getting out is too damn high. You don't understand. That's not the point. So tell me! Uh, it's a long story. It all started in the 1950s, when U.S. Progress was running the Abyss Scan program. Before you were born, we were already building your future for the progress of humanity. Enough with the history lesson. What were you looking for? Life, of course. Organic life forms that had never been classified. A gold mine of genetic and biochemical research with unbridled potential. That was how we discovered Ram 77, a mysterious new alloy. Wait, you're talking about that strange metal. Strange, you say? I would say revolutionary. It never registered on our detectors. The government initiated Project Hoax using it to construct military aircraft capable of going undetected by enemy forces. Aircraft that are invisible to radar. Well, if the Cold War had heated up, they would have come in handy, right? <laughs> so everything in those hangars... That was just a facade, my dear girl. We still hadn't understood the true potential of Ram 77. The more we investigated, the more we realized that this alloy would change our understanding of the nature of reality itself. The stakes were rising, and then you turned up. Hexacore. What? Don't be so surprised. We know the truth. Oh, don't tell me you don't know who you really work for. Hexacore stole everything from us. Hades watched our every move. But we at U.S. Progress are the true pioneers of molecular transfer theory. Without us, those incompetents wouldn't have gotten anywhere. I didn't know anything about it. Nobody knew. Some knowledge is best kept hidden from the rest of the world. That's why they built an underground city. We had to disappear with our families and leave everything. To live only for research. Living underground, deep within the earth, in the abyss. The world would achieve enlightenment through our sacrifice. We sacrificed so much. 
He still hasn't forgiven us. We did it for him. They forced us. They made us do it. Who? Who are you talking about? We didn't want to. I, I swear, it wasn't our fault. Please, calm down. I just want to understand. You? No. You have condemned us. What? I don't! Shut up! You'll pay for what you've done! I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, you crazy bitch! Get out of here. You. How dare you show your face here? You killed them without mercy! It's you. You're back. Before my very eyes. What are you doing? Helen. Please forgive me. It's enough. Do you know my sister? You aren't her. You're Delilah. Helen told me about you. Are you... Brian? I'm... Yes, yes, I'm Brian. She was everything to me. I didn't think I'd ever... While everything else was losing its meaning, she was my life. This place allowed us to find each other and to lose ourselves. Where's she now? Where's my sister? Where's she now? Tell me! She's dead. It was my fault. I wasn't myself. I lost control. It was the toxin, that monster! It wasn't me! worked. 
The ogre is almost charged. The living and the dead have contributed with their light. And she will welcome him in the rebirth. The time has come to... Finally, the god chained by men will be set free. It's time. Please, please forgive me. I'm sorry you have to bear witness to this. He wanted to take me back, but I can't. Not now. What remains of my will exists only in you, and only because of what I sought to destroy. Brian killed me before I could carry out my plan. But through the ogre, I managed to bring you here. It's up to you now, Raiz. What are you? Are you still you? Are you me? My mind, intoxicated by that substance. I am both of us. But I'm him too, now. What is it? The last exemplar of a prehistoric species. His origin lies in an unanticipated fusion, linking this world with a distant planet. Our paths crossed in his genetic heritage. The discovery of the biological material imprinted on Ram 77 set the wheels of fate in motion. Thanks to those genetic segments, a toxin was developed. And when Hexacore spread it within the castle, he started calling out to us from afar. He was the missing link. His unexpected arrival was the first success after years of failure. The first organic transfer. We tried to exploit him for his blood, finally make this epical leap. But we were pawns in his inextinguishable will to survive. He was manipulating you. He wanted to free this monster. On the contrary, I wanted to destroy him. I'd realized the truth. I lied to Brian to achieve my aim. He went out of his way to protect me from this madness. But he didn't think about himself. And the more time passed, the more the ogre crept into him. In the end, only I could clearly see that we were all wrong. That the price we were paying for technological progress was too high. Hundreds of dead, our own humanity. The ogre was a victim of our experiments like so many of us. But now, he must be destroyed. I summoned you, Reis. You must complete what I have started. You just abandoned me to take part in this research. Now you're asking me to destroy it. And lose you again. I didn't understand until it, it was too late. We never really separated. Our bond has survived over time, years of silence. It's overcome even death and has now overcome the will of this millennial creature. I don't want to lose you again. We're not separating. We just got back together. What are you doing? Don't touch it. Gora, you're alive. What's wrong with you? 
I still have time. I have to... I have to complete my mission. No, we have to destroy this monster. Can't you see? It's the source of all no. this madness. No. They're all dead already. It doesn't matter anymore. I have orders. Yes, I'm a soldier. I have to follow my orders. Put yourself together. You're delirious. Don't come any closer. If you destroy that creature, that research data will be lost forever. We're out of time. It's about to wake up. I don't care. You don't understand. Helen died for this. Don't make me do it. Please. Gora, stop. I, I don't want to kill you. Gora, I'm begging you. Don't make me. Complicated. There's no time. I need you to reach me, Reyes. I'm trying. Enough of this! Show yourself!
Please, no! I need to end this!
Foster. Did you hear me? I didn't want you to get involved. You weren't even supposed to be here, but that old asshole forced me. He made arrangements for the briefcase with a third party. I don't know who it was. He was risking his ass. He wanted me to be here, but he needed some collateral. That's why you got brought along. Don't bullshit me, Roddick. Was leaving me outside the castle part of the deal? This belongs to you. How did you get this? So you knew about her too? I'll explain everything. I trusted you. No!
Operation Sandcastle was a partial success. The DNA sample of subject codename Ogre was destroyed, but we were able to prevent Section 8 from collecting research data and uncovering evidence. We believe our primary goal has been achieved. Everything was buried by the desert. Ah. Welcome Grace. back, Major. He left her down there! I'll kill that bastard! Where is that fucking piece of shit? Where is he? I'll kill him with my bare hands! Agent Crane, give him a sedative. You seem collaborative again. Good. Where the fuck is he? If you're referring to Captain Vulcan, he has just been commended for his heroic action. <gasps> heroic? Bullshit! He left her to die! He managed to rescue his superior and made sure the entire operation went completely unnoticed. Staying hovering in that sandstorm, they're already calling him Sandman. Fucking asshole. Commander Foster and Special Agent Reyes are dead. The operation was sabotaged, and we didn't obtain the contents of the briefcase. Somebody should have assumed responsibility. <laughs> Don't you get it? Foster had everything set up to screw you over. He was gonna sell that damn test tube to the highest bidder! Personal interests of the commander and his loyalty to us are no longer the issue. Now we have a much bigger and more urgent problem. The president. The men he sent on a mission are all dead. The Groom Lake Center no longer exists. Foster certainly bears some responsibility, but one dead culprit isn't enough. The president has ordered your execution, which will take place in the next few hours. How convenient for you. Maybe, but here's the thing. If we go ahead with your execution, we lose one of our baddest motherfuckers. What the fuck do you still want from me? Ivan Radek must die, but you, you're still in a position to negotiate. You can change your identity and be reassigned to this unit. You get to live on. If nothing else, you'll have the opportunity to plot your revenge, Special Agent Liev. In any case, any evidence of what happened down there has been completely destroyed, as has everyone else involved. The President will just have to suck it up.
have loved to hear her voice again. I'm glad you agreed to take the device. Tell Delilah that I was wrong. My feelings for her never weakened. Who knows if it's the same for her. Today, I'll try to make amends for my choices, at least in part. Whatever happens, at least I'll know that I remain true to myself until the end. Thank <laughs> you.